It is the tale of two transit extremes. In one part of the Bay Area, it's difficult to find a seat on public transportation. While in another, empty buses roll right by. KTV's Matt Keller has the results of a new study identifying the most and least cost-efficient transit systems in the nation and where the Bay Area ranks in tonight's special report. Here's a daily sight if you live almost anywhere in the Bay Area. Big, empty buses rolling across town, burning gas and serving few taxpayers except the employees of the transit districts and their suppliers. The situation has caught the eye of lots of people, including transportation experts at UC Berkeley. We have probably, by global standards, one of the richest set of transit offerings you find anywhere. You know, we have BART, light rail, trolley bus, diesel bus, uh, cable car, uh, ferries. Robert Cervero is an internationally noted scholar who is a co-author of a new study comparing 54 transit districts across the United States. The Bay Area, it turns out, has one of the most and least cost-effective systems in the entire batch. San Francisco, despite its many transit problems, came in at the top, second best to just Denver, with the BART line running through the city. Just ignoring all the other potential benefits here, quality improvements, reduced congestion, economic growth that BART has allowed, just in terms of pure costs of building the system, operating it, and netting out the revenues, BART has turned out to be an extremely wise investment. Even the once controversial BART route to SFO made it into the middle of the rankings. On the other hand, the second to the least cost-efficient system right before the rock bottom in Newark, New Jersey, is the Silicon Valley shiny but largely empty Valley Transportation Authority, known as the VTA. In particular, the trolley line running north to Mountain View, called the Tasman North Extension, came in at almost five bucks per passenger mile traveled, compared to San Francisco's 32 cents for the same thing. Berkeley's Robert Severo says the explanation is obvious. Unless you've got the densities in place to really generate the trips and fill the trains and buses, these are not going to turn out uh, to be really uh, cost-effective investments. On the other hand, VTA spokeswoman Brandi Childress says her agency is building for the future. Santa Clara County is known for its suburban sprawl. We've had many major employment centers come in and like the fact that there is suburban sprawl. They have large campuses, lots of parking, and what we're trying to do is work with cities and developers to set these business parks around the existing infrastructure to promote the green alternative to driving. This part of the VTA line cost the public more than $330 million when it opened more than 12 years ago. The transit district's planners are hopeful a rebounding economy, a new 49ers stadium, and more housing will lead to more passengers coming aboard. In Mountain View, Matt Keller, KTVU, Channel 2 News.